Yeah, I thought, um, you know, we showed a lot of rust tonight um, and obviously playing a good team in their building, but I uh, thought we settled down the last 15 minutes and did a lot of good things, both offensively and defensively. Um, you know, the one negative we had, we had 22 fouls, they had nine. We had our two centers had 10 fouls, their center had one. Um, that, that's hard to overcome. And, um, you know, but I, I thought our guys really battled. Um, you know, we got really beat at the free throw line. We beat them, beat them at the three. We beat them with field goals made. Um, we had 18 assists to 12 turnovers. They had 20 to 16. So I thought we did a lot of good things coming off 19 day rest. Um, I just thought it was uh, it, it was fouls in the free throw line that uh, ended up getting us. I think. What are you looking to um, What are you looking to improve on, especially going with only one day's rest before you face them again? Yeah, it's a it's a hard one. We knew it was going to be a hard trip. Uh, you know, our last three games are uh, against top of the division, so um, you know we got to play well, and we didn't play well in the first half. Our our defense wasn't very good, and our offense wasn't very good. When you do that on the road, it's really hard to um, hard to get back in it, let alone hard to win it. And we got back in it, and we actually had a chance. And um, I give the guys a lot of credit for that because I thought the last 15 minutes we really battled. Hopefully, we shook some rust off. Um, but again, we got this same really good team that we got to play um, again on Sunday. So we're going to have to make shots. We have to work on our execution and execute a little bit better than what we did today offensively and defensively. We got to figure out how to get some stops. I thought we gave up too many threes. Um, when this team makes threes, they're, they're really hard to play against. So we've got to figure that out. Uh, great performance from Cambridge and Heim. So what are your thoughts on both of them? Yeah, I thought both KJ and Dez, they, they scored at a high level for us. Um, you know, I'm so very proud of what they were able to do because this is not a good or this is a very good defensive team. So to score on this team is not easy. And I thought both of them were really active. Um, you know, KJ was active defensively, but he found a way to score, which is really good. And it helps us. And Dez um, really scored at a high level. I thought Trey Coleman uh, did a lot of good things uh, for us that really helped us both defensively and um, and offensively. And um, I thought Daniel really battled. You know, I, I thought he battled defensively. We just, we didn't, uh, I thought Bean got away from us in about the first 25 minutes of the game, and then we settled down. But, you know, we can't give Bean 19 and 10. Um, you know, I thought that was a difference in the game. A lot of the Utah State's guys had season high nights. Um, so how do you go ahead and, and, and just protect um, and guard them going up against Utah State um, with, with pretty much just only two days to get ready? Uh, season high in points. Who was it, Bean? Yeah, yeah I believe it's Bean and K was it K not Kata? Somebody else they mentioned on the broadcast that two or three of them had season high nights. Yeah, maybe Solga, who hardly ever plays. So he played 18 minutes. That was probably his most minutes he's played all year. But I can't imagine. I, I would think Anderson's had more than 10 and Kita's had more than 16. And Unless I got the wrong stats. Yeah, I'm not sure on that one. Um, yeah, I thought we did a pretty good job in the second half. Uh, they had some good balance. I think the biggest thing was just uh, defending the three-point line. We got to do a better job. We can't give up 11 threes. I thought that, I thought that and the free throw line was what really hurt us tonight. Um, another question for you, Coach. With the fans being there, I felt like didn't – do you feel like it played a, played a factor at all? They didn't seem as loud as, as you would anticipate. Well, it's louder than normal. Uh, it's normal we're playing in an empty gym, so you know they they and they do a good job here with fans, and uh, and there was quite a bit of fans in here, so that just compounds it. And, you know, I, and we had a really weird start to the game. The clock's all missed, malfunctioning. You got to change stuff out, uh, and I just thought we didn't have a. We, the start wasn't too bad, but um, after about three or four minutes, we just really lost our rhythm. Most of our turnovers were in the first half. Thought we settled down in the second half. We took care of the ball. We scored 47 um, in the second half. So I thought we were better off, better offensively and much better defensively. So if we can find a way of bottling that second half and playing, you know, 40 minutes that way on Sunday, then I like our chances a little bit better.